hello everyone welcome back to our channel today i am showing you the details of the plinth beam how it has to be casted this is basically for 30 by 40 side which is designed for two floors you can see here how the plinth beam is almost around 15 inch height here and 9 inch thickness the steel used here is you can see here observe Sunwick gold Sunwick gold TMT 550 TMT bar steel of 12 dead aya. you can observe at the supports where the column is there you can see four top bars are provided on either sides at the mid span you can see at the center you can consider only two bars top two and bottom two and at the supports supports means near the column you can just consider bottom two 12 dia two numbers throughout usually at the at the junction of the column there is more load at the top uh, means surface means hence we need to provide more top reinforcement here and you can see 8 mm bars placed at 300 center to center one bus i prefer not to go more than 300 we should it should be ideally from 200 to 300 mm this one even this is also super weak tmt 8 dia bar you can see the asi mark here observe here this whatever the top bars are there whenever it comes and join to this junction this length lapping length bent bar which we have provided here that should be minimum of one feet it should go minimum one feet at till this point what they have done is this thing that should not be there whatever the bars which are terminated at the corners or this uh, wherever it is coming to and co uh, correcting the column it should be bent so that embedded length this we will call it as embedded length this length bent length should be extended up till this point you can see the same mistakes here also this bar should not be terminated in this fashion whatever the bars coming here now that should be bent and taken down so that embedded length whenever the force applied at this point at certain point it should this embedded length whatever we are providing here that should resist that load that is the main purpose this mistake you should not do while doing any types of beam either plinth beam or floor beams any type you can observe the similar type of reinforcement arrangement at all the points at these supports you can observe top four bar at the supports means at the column junction and at the middle one you can see here middle one top only two bars continuous bars the same thing you can observe here also hope it will clear here for you in this view see here top four center to edge 2 again 4 again and bottom 2 continuous and stirrup is 300 mm center to center 8 tire not more than that this is as per IS standards casting of concrete whatever the cover you are providing that should be minimum of 1 inch minimum 25 mm for all kind of beams see here 25 mm minimum 1 inch you need to provide minimum. wherever it is less now we need to provide cover blocks there the same here in time in the case of cantilever also at this support near the column you need to provide four bars here four bars what you can see here and the free end no need of top reinforcement additional top reinforcement this much is sufficient 
and for plinth beams or any kind of beams structures concrete structures you need to use minimum grade of concrete as m25 hope this is clear for you any doubts regarding the plinth beams you can comment below or any other additional uh, mistakes you find here you can comment below thank you thank you everyone for watching this video please subscribe to our channel for more regular updates thank you